Welcome to the MAKE course. I'm Rudy Schlaf. This tutorial is about evaluating conditional statements. So we will discuss how to deal with situations like this here where we have in an if statement or a while statement something like three conditionals and they are combined with several operators. Before we go on, let me point out that this video is based on the three videos that we did before it. And so I encourage you to watch at least video 2 and video 3 that introduces control structures and basic logic and boolean operators before doing this tutorial. Now in this tutorial you will need to deal a little bit with Arduino hardware and if that's a mystery to you then please visit eeawesome.com and click on the videos tab and there you see uh, six videos that I made that get you started with the Arduino. Let's go back to the Arduino sketch of video 3 about boolean operators and if you remember there we had two buttons hooked up to the Arduino that controlled one LED and here with the AND operator we created a situation where the LED would only blink, these are these four lines down, down here, if both buttons are pressed and so this was achieved by the NOT operator uh, acting on the digital read button pin 1 function and then that was combined with AND with the same for the other button and so only if both button were pressed and remember digital read yielded a 0 because the buttons connected the pin to ground and so with the NOT here we generated a 1 when, whenever a button was pressed and so 1 AND 1 yields 1 and then we compared that with a 1 and then the IF was happy and the LED was blinking. So both buttons pressed, LED blinks, only one button or no button, the LED did not blink. Here you see it in the flash. So these are the two buttons, that's the LED. Buttons are hooked up to pins 2 and 3 and the LED here is on pin 8 with the red jumper. Now you see here I don't press any button. The LED is off, so if I press one of them, still off, the other one still off, and I press both buttons, now the LED starts blinking. Okay, let's start play with this conditional a little bit. The first thing I want to show you is that we don't really need this uh, comparison with the one to get the uh, true um, or false readout for the uh, if function. So we can simply delete this and upload and you will see that this still works. Here we go, one button, the other button, nothing happens, I press both, the LED blinks, so nothing changed, exactly the same like before. Well, what is going on here? It seems we don't need any comparison, we don't need any question that we're asking here, is this here really one or not? Well, it seems it's enough if we simply have a 1 as result of the evaluation of our logical statement here. And so, let's put this to the test. We can just delete this here with the buttons and just put a 1 in here. So, if what I just said is true, then the LED should simply blink after I upload this, because if finds a 1 here and then it concludes, aha, whatever is in my parentheses is true, it's a 1, and then let's do what's here between the parentheses. Okay, let's upload this. And here you see it, the LD blinks, so the 1 is enough to satisfy the if statement. Alright, let's see what happens if we put a 0 in there. You probably guess what will happen. And indeed, it does not blink. So now you know how the if statement really evaluates what is between the uh, parentheses here. If whatever is in here results in a 1, then the commands are executed. If a 0 results, then the commands are not executed. So we don't need a comparison or anything in here, we simply need a logical calculation and whatever the result of that is, then the commands are executed or not. Let's do one more thing before we move to more complicated expressions here in that conditional. Let's put a 5 in here and challenge this, uh, this if statement a little bit. Let's see what happens. 
Aha, it is still blinking. Let's do one more. Let's put in 0 0.5, so something smaller than 1. Let's see what happens. It is still blinking. I guess it is pretty obvious what this means. Rather than distinguishing between 0 and 1 here in the if statement when it is evaluated, what we rather do is to distinguish between 0 and not 0. So whenever this here is not 0, then the statements in the parentheses are executed. If it is 0, then this here becomes false and then this is not executed. Okay, let's see what happens if we put more complicated statements in here. So I prepared one. Let me put that in here. So now we have if 1 and 1 and 0 or 1. And the question now is, will this LED blink or not? What do you think? Let's have a quick look at the order at which operations are being executed. You're probably aware from arithmetic that when you have a complicated expression like this here, 3 plus 4 times 8 times 4 plus 5 in parentheses, then you evaluate this in a way that you first do the operations in parentheses. So you add 4 and 5, right? So you get the 9. Then do the minus signs if there are any. Uh, then do multiplications and divisions. Right, so in this case now we would multiply 4 times 8 times 9 and then we uh, execute the additions and subtractions. So after we multiply these numbers we get 288 so we would add 3 and then get 291 and so this would mean that we evaluated this expression here. So when it comes to boolean operators, to logical to logic operators, then we first do the not operators, then we do the operators in parentheses, then do the AND statement, the AND operators. The geeks say that AND has precedence over OR, and then at the end we do OR. So AND is a little bit like multiplication, and OR is a little bit like addition in the arithmetic parallel. So when it comes to the expression that we uh, just saw in the Arduino sketch, 1 and 1 in parentheses, and 0 or 1. So we would evaluate that first by do the operators in parentheses. We don't have a not operator here. So we would evaluate 1 and 1, and you know by now that this yields 1. So we would get 1 and 0 or 1. So I wrote that here. And then, of course, we would do the AND because it has precedence over OR. So we would combine 1 and 0. So that gives, of course, a 0, right? Because uh, both uh, AND inputs have to be 1 to yield a 1 at, at the output. So we get a 0 here. And then we OR this with 1. And, of course, 1 or 0 gives us a 1. So the evaluation of this entire statement is a 1. So according to this theory, the LED should blink. Let's have a look. Okay, let's upload this. And indeed, the LED is blinking. One burning question that you probably had is, how could one implement this with gates? And so here I've, uh, I whipped it up in iCircuit. And here you see it. This is the AND in parentheses. So we have two one inputs, two high levels, two times five volts at the input. So the, the, the gate is one. And then we feed this into a second AND gate that combines this output here from the statement in parentheses with the, with the zero that we have in the second AND. And then the result of that um, operation then we feed into the OR statement and OR it with a 1 and so you see that at the output here we get 5 volts so that corresponds to the 1 that we just saw demonstrated by the Arduino. So after this brief interlude let's try this out with a while statement. So let's go back to just the 1 and say here while 1 and uh, upload this. And of course it blinks again. So it seems the uh, while loop 
um, evaluates what's within the brackets here in exactly the same way like the if statement. And so this is really um, C++ wide whenever you have a conditional then it is evaluated and the result is either true or false. False if it's zero, true if it's not zero, right? The one is just one of many true statements that we can have here within the conditional. We just saw that by putting in five or, or 0.5. So if it's zero or not zero, and then um, we execute what is within the um, conditional statement or the loop. Now you know how C++ evaluates conditional statements. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.